Introducing Star Trail Mode. Welcome to SETI Astro. So as always, if you haven't got the newest version of SETI Astro Suite, head over to SETIAstro.com under Astro Programs, SETI Astro Suite. Be sure to click Get It Here to go to the GitHub to get the version for your operating system. So this will be a quicker video. I had some requests to do a Star Trail mode and you can just manually adjust everything in most stacking software to do a good Star Trail image. Uh, but I just added a, a one push button to, to get it done in Stacking Suite and Live Stacking. So let's go ahead and look over in Stacking Suite. Under Image Integration, you'll now see a Star Trail mode. What that's going to do is disable registration and aligning of your images and then switch the rejection mode to a, a max value for the stack such that as a, when the star is moving between images it's going to keep picking up those bright pixels of the stars as it's moving and it's going to be still important to calibrate your lights but i understand a lot of people doing star trail images uh, are probably using dslrs and don't have darks and flats and stuff uh, but it's still good to put them in the lights tab so you can run cosmetic correction to get rid of any hot pixels so these images were given to me from a member of our Discord. Uh, so if you want to be part of our Discord, get in on the discussion, throw out suggestions, talk about SETI Astro Suite and astrophotography in general, be sure to hop over to our Discord. So I have them loaded up in here. I'm just going to click Enable Cosmetic Correction. And you can see it says Cosmetic True. And let's go ahead and calibrate the light frames just to run the Cosmetic Correction on them. Okay, with the cosmetic correction done, they're over here in the image integration tab. And you just got to make sure you have star trail mode selected and click register and in integrate like before. And down here you'll see now star trail mode enabled, skipping registration and using the max value stack. And then in the terminal window you can see it's just going to load the image, stack it, and load the next and stack it. And when it's done, it'll say it wrote the image. It's going to tell you how many frames are in the file name and give it a timestamp. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here's our star, star trail image. Now, when you're taking exposures for star trails, you can go ahead and take a little bit longer exposure because if the star streaks in your image, all the better. You're actually going to want some um, streaking of your stars and you really want to minimize the time between uh, exposures. So the time the shutter is actually closed. Otherwise, you could end up with uh, dimpling on your bright stars like this. But again, I, I didn't take these uh, photos. He's just a member on, a, on the Discord that wanted me to, to give it a go for him. So let's uh, hop over to Live Stack now. And in the Live Stack, you can see that there is a new checkbox over here for our Star Trail mode. So let's go ahead and um, select our folder. And again, if you have a master darks and master flats you want to load, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go ahead and process and monitor. And now uh, as our images start coming in, it's going to go ahead and stack them in real time. And I'm just going to go ahead and let this run through all our images so you can see how it um, actually builds it all up. And there we go. It was uh, stacking in the live stack. So we can stop monitoring and let's just go ahead and, and send this to uh, slot one. And here's our live stack. So no matter how you want to uh, do it, you could do it in a, in a live stack mode. You could do it in normal stacking mode. It's just, an, it, it's just a fun feature now in uh, SETI Astro Suite for those of you wanting to do more like landscape, star trail kind of mode images. So. You know, come over, join our Discord. Let me know what kind of images you're getting with uh, Star Trail mode. Please comment, like, and subscribe.